Geico Stamper's Depfelder here, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and I'm here to show you how to do this lattice card using the Chevron Punch. This is the card that I came up with, and I'll show you how to do it. So here we go. The first thing that I, I did was I started off with a card base of 11 by 4 and a quarter, and I scored it at 5 and a half. So this is my card base. The next layer that I did, I used my Chevron, or my Chevron, I used my um, Arrows embossing folder and um, this is the way it came out. I love, love, love this embossing folder. Okay, and then you, what I like about this is you can use it um, either this way or this way and they both look really, really nice. I'm going to use it this way today where the, um, the pattern is popped up and the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is the, uh, the lattice. And I'm using my Chevron Punch. All right, this is new in the 2014 Occasions Mini Catalog. And I have two pieces of cardstock, and you can use any color. I happen to use white on this one. I wanted a white lattice. And um, they are um, one in, and uh, five sixteenths inches wide, and you can use them as long as you want. I suggest you make them longer than your card so that you can um, have a little wiggle room to play with it. I actually do them eight and a half by um, one and uh, five sixteenths. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by turning my punch over. Let me get these out of the way so that I can show you just specifically this. All right, so what I do is I start my punch over, and I'm going to line up the end right here with, whoops, with, the, uh, with the beginning of this first arrow. So I'm just going to line it up there. Make sure it's all the way um, down to the bottom and even, and you're just going to pop these out. Now the next part is very important. You're going to you're going to slide it over. You see me sliding it over. There's one and two. So now what I'm doing is I'm leaving it so that there is only one piece that doesn't have um cardstock in it. So from now on after your first punch, you're only going to punch two at a time. So you're just going to take and punch this and then you're going to move it until you can only see one again and then you're going to take and you're going to punch it again. Okay? And you're going to keep doing this for both sheets of paper. All right? So when you're done, you have two pieces of cardstock that are 1 and 5 sixteenths, or yeah, 1 and 5 sixteenths by, these are 8 and a half pieces. Um, you see how the, the arrows are going both ways? Well, now what we're going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to turn one around. So now one's going um, left and one's going right. Now what you're going to do is you're going to lay them one on top of the other, just like this, and we're going to just offset them just a little bit. I find it easiest if you just take them and put this little point just to the, to the other side of the other point. And then what I do is I, I just kind of put them together like this, and then just pop one, two, can you see it? Three, four, just keep going all the way down, okay? You just take and put these two little points. You're locking them in, actually. And now what you're going to do is you're going to decide what pattern you want. And you do that by pushing this end and this end. Um, pull and push. So watch. See how the... Whoops. So you don't want to pull too far. So let's put it back together again. Here we go. Okay, it's fast. Alrighty. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take and I'm going to put it together so it, it looks like this. So there's there's one lattice, okay? Now what you want to do, if you want to change it, and this is the really cool part, okay? You can just pull it. Just pull and see how this is changing? Look at that. We have diamonds now. Now what I just did the first time, and, and I wanted, I'm glad I, I, I did that because I, I showed you... Um, don't get nervous um, about pulling it apart. If you go too far on this, you're going to end up pulling it apart, okay? And you don't want to do that. So now I'm just going to slide it back together again. Okay, here we go. Whoops, one of them popped out. All right, so um, I want to do it the lattice look, so I'm just going to take and look at, make it look just like this, okay? So like I said, you can play with it. Um, I also want to show you that um, it's not going to be perfect, so don't, don't get upset. Um, I know there's perfectionists out there, but it's not going to be perfect. There's no way that you can punch it so that um, there is no, um, so that there is no, uh, like, sometimes you, you have, like, a little cut like that. Um, you just want to make sure that it looks like a lattice, and this looks like a lattice that flowers go up. Now what you want to do is you want to take your silicone mat and put your glue on it. 
Okay, here we go. And I'm just going to take my adhesive and I just kind of put it down the middle because it's catching both of those uh, pieces. You want you want to catch glue on both pieces. And then you're going to take your uh, pistachio pudding, the one that I did the uh, texture on, and you're just going to add your trellis or your lattice. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, I'm just going to trim these off with my scissors. And um, you can use uh, any, any scissors that you have, but I like to use my larger ones. And you can also do this on the trimmer. Okay. And here's the other one. Okay, so now you have your lattice. And then what I did next, let me just show you the card again. What I did next was I added some of my uh, leaves. And these are from my um, one of my sizzlets. This one is called the um, Sizzlet's Little Leaves. And I have more than one of them so that I can do a bunch of them at a time. So this is what they look like. Okay, and I just I uh, ran them through the Big Shot. So I have two sets of these. I originally did three on this card, but what happened was is I, 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 I uh, covered up most of the lattice, and I didn't want to do that. So now what you want to do is you want to just kind of weave these in here. So I just kind of slid it right in there like that, and then this one I slid in here like this, and then just put a little bit of glue under one of them because you still want them to pop up. The next thing that I did was I used my um, new stamp, and this comes in a bundle. It's the Petite Petals stamp set, and it is the Petite Petals punch. And what I did was I took this flower, stamped it four different times onto white cardstock, and then I punched it out with my Petite Petals punch. And what I'm going to do here is just decide where I want to randomly um, leave these, and I do have four of them. Here, here's one more. And... Um, and then what I did was, um, I just put pearls in the middle of them. Okay, so that's how I did that. And then this piece right here was done with this stamp set. And again, this is a bundle. I use this saying from the stamp set right here. This is called Perfect Penance. And this is the, um, this is the wording that I used from there. And then I cut them out from my, um, it, it does come in a bundle. And these are the banners. Um, these are the banners, and I just uh, cut it out here. So this one came from this banner right here, and this one came from this banner right here. I love these, and they do match a lot of our other stamp sets also. So um, this is a good investment, and I, again, if you buy them together, you can buy them at 15% off. Each piece is 15% off. It's not the bundle. You get 15% off of your stamp set, and you get 15% off of your um, your. Uh, Ba this in this case it's a, a banner so um, the banner framelits so in this case right here now what you're going to do is you're going to add your um, banner right here and you're going to do this now I just glued this to this and then I popped this up and then I added it to my card base just like this and that's all we did so I hope you take and you um, make some of these lattice. They are just so much fun. They're very addicting and they're just so cute to do. So ask me any questions you have. Uh, give me a give me a, an email and I hope you enjoyed my post. Take care and have a great day.